Welcome to this YouTube channel Learn Quick. I am Sharif here for a video lecture on projection of solids octahedron. To draw this problem, I recommend to watch our previous video lecture projection of solids to understand the basics of default position. To view the video, the link is available in the top right corner or in the description of this video. So, you all know the octahedron has 8 equilateral triangle and it has 6 corners and it has 12 edges. So we have decided to draw the octahedron in this position orientation because it is given in the question that it is going to rest on the triangular plane in the HP. So to understand the question better, so we will divide this question into three parts and we will understand this default position. So if you read the question part one, an octahedron of side 40 mm is resting on the ground. So it is very clear that we have going to draw an octahedron and the side is going to be 40 mm. So all the sides are 40 mm. So obviously we have the equilateral triangle. So equilateral triangle have all sides equal. So we have 40 mm all sides. So this octahedron is resting on the ground. That means it is resting on the HP. So here we have VP and here we have HP and this is our reference line XY. So it is resting on HP with one of its triangular faces. So why I have kept a triangular face in the right side. Okay. So this triangular face is in the top and one more triangle is in the bottom. Below this we have another triangular face. So if you see in the front view you can see that this triangle is visible as a line here and there is another triangle beneath this. So we have the line for that triangle. So now we are going to make this triangular face to rest on HP. So when I tilt, when I make this uh, octahedron to fall to the right side, so when this line coincides with the XY line, that means the triangular which is here is going to rest on the HP. So I have chosen the triangulars in the right side on the left side. So you can also uh, make this octahedron to fall to the left side instead of making it to the right side. In case if you tilt this to the left side, so the triangle which is below this is going to rest on the HP. Okay. So now we will read the part 3 of this question. Uh, draw the projection for this octahedron. So when this octahedron is resting on the HP with one of its triangular faces, we need to draw the front view and then top view. Okay, so already we I have drawn the default position here. So this is your uh, top view and this is your front view. So this is your step one and step two. So I have taken all the sides as 40 mm and uh, we are going to name all the corners. So totally we have uh, six corners. So I will start with the left side and I will go with anti-clockwise direction. So here I will name it as A, B, C and then D. And here I have two points A, B, C, D and then I have E and bracket F. So now I name in the front view. So when I see from the front view, this A and B are visible. So here I mark A dash and B dash. So behind A I have D, behind B I have C. So A dash bracket D dash and then B dash bracket C dash. And these two corners are named as E and F. So the top one is E. So it is E dash and the bottom one is F. Here we have F dash. Okay. So now we are going to work on the step 3. So where I need the triangle F, B, C. Okay. So this triangle to lie on HP. I am going to make this triangle to rest on HP. So for that first make a point and then draw this line with the HB pencil for the distance of 40 mm. So obviously we are going to draw this same square here. It is 40 mm. and 
I'm going to connect these two corners and I'm going to transfer all the letters from the step 2 to step 3 okay so this point is your this corner is your B1 dash bracket C1 dash and this is your F1 dash so this will be your A1 dash bracket D1 dash and here E1 dash now to draw the step 4 I need to project all the corners to the step 4 from step 3 as well as from step 1 to step 4 so let's project all the corners so to do this use of engineering drafter is recommended so now we need to mark the meeting points a and a1 dash meets here so this will be your a1 b and b1 dash meets here so this will be b1 c c1 dash meets here c1 d d1 dash meets here it's d1 e and e1 dash meets here it's e1 f and f1 dash meets here it's f1 now to draw the step 4 we need to see the step 3 from the top view so when you see from the top view your triangle AD is visible so when you see from here this triangle will be visible so I connect this triangle ADE ADE I need to connect with my HB pencil in continuous line so now if you see uh, the triangle DCE the triangle D C E this triangle here it is visible from the top view so I need to connect this with HB pencil so similarly the triangle A B E also visible from the top view so I connect with HB pencil so if we imagine the resting triangle F B C F, B, C which is resting in the HP those edges are not visible from the top view if you see from the top view the triangle F, B, C is not visible ok so I need to draw the hidden lines for F, B, C but already I have drawn a visible line for C, E and E, B so I will leave this line as it is but I will draw the hidden lines for F, C and F, B now Similarly for F to B. So now we have completed the front view and the top view of the octahedron when the octahedron is resting on HP with one of its triangular face. The resting triangular face here we consider is F, B, C. So now we will quickly dimension uh, this octahedron. So we will uh, make a linear dimensioning for the side length of the octahedron. So I am using my engineering template to make the arrowheads of the dimension. So make sure the ratio is uh, 1 to 3. In case if you are drawing uh, manually make sure uh, the ratio is proper and write the side length as 40 mm. I hope this video was helpful to you. If so do not forget to like the video, share the video and subscribe this channel with bell icon. Thank you.